I'm here at the Gentle Barn in Santa Clarita, California, and I first found out about this incredible place when a friend told me about it, and I checked their Facebook page on a regular basis. And they take in animals that no one else wants. They rescue a lot of animals from backyard slaughters or uh, from animals that have just been abused. They've got 170 animals here, and I was so happy when I booked this trip to LA that they have a visitor's day on Sundays so you can come and visit these animals and find out about their, their history and what you know just what their lives were like how they're rehabilitating and what their personality personalities are like um, I really love this place because again they specifically seek out animals that no one else wants so the animals that you see if it weren't for this barn, they would have been slaughtered by now. A lot of the goats come from backyard slaughters. A lot of the chickens come from backyard slaughters. A lot of the turkeys, and um, we'll go over and see the turkeys. They love hugs. Um, a lot of the turkeys come from live turkey auctions. He looks pretty happy to me. Um, 90 percent of the goats came from backyard butchers. And then the sheep also. Oh, where is that one sheep? <laughs> it's hard to keep up with them sometimes because they move around so much. Um, but one of the sheep. I'm in my notes here. Um, Stanley. Let's try to find Stanley. Stanley came from an agriculture program at a college, and his testicles were remo removed, his horns were burned off, his tail was docked. Mom and twin brother went to a breeding program, and he was supposed to go to slaughter. Where did Stanley go? Oh, I think that's Stanley. Um, he was so terrified when he arrived for the first 24 hours, he just screamed nonstop. But now that he's been here for so long, he loves humans and loves to be rubbed. So they're just living peacefully. They actually have a lot of goats here. Oh, and then the pigs. So this. I was actually really shocked to hear about this. This is Zeus. And Zeus is 800 pounds. Uh, when he was four months old, he was rescued from a county fair. After the county fair, all of the animals were going to be slaughtered. And now he's six, and he weighs 800 pounds. And he is <laughs> sleeping. And if you pet his face, you could actually feel him breathing. Huh? Yeah, see, look at, look at this. See if you can get the movement of the body. When I see pigs, I can't help but think about the bacon craze that's <laughs> happening in San Francisco, where people are eating bacon cupcakes and bacon ice cream, and there's a food truck that serves all these things. So, this is your bacon. Zeus. But luckily Zeus won't be turned into bacon because he will live here for the rest of his life. Sleep well, Zeus. <laughs> yeah. Do you work with the pig? No. I'm not, no? What, what, can I ask you a few questions? Yes. What is your name? Noel. N-O-A-L? N-O-A-L. What, how long have you been volunteering here? My first day. First day? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what brought you here? Huh? What brought you here? 
car, but I, mean, uh, I have to pay for a ticket, so I have to make enough hours to volunteer, but I like animals. Oh, this is community uh, service? Yeah. Wow. That's the best way to do community service, you know. Huh. And what's your experience been like so far? Good. I have animals all my life. I do, yeah. You know, from Europe, I have chicken, I have duck, I have everything, you name it, so it doesn't change much to me. You know. But not to eat them or to just. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 no. no. Uh, don't eat anything with eyes. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Or brain, for that matter of fact. Or with a mom. Uh huh. Yeah, or with a mom. Yeah. Um, Can I ask you both a few questions? Yes, sure. Um, what is your name? Actually, I'll go on this side because of the lighting. <laughs> My name's Irina. Irina? And I'm Diana. And how long have you been volunteering here? It will be two years. Yeah, okay. She's my mom, so. Oh, yeah. great. So, since volunteering here, how has this experience changed your relationship with animals? Mm, I know more about goats, sheep. Maybe not so many change, but more experience, more knowledge. Mm -hmm. What about you? Um, I was a vegan before I started volunteering, but since I started volunteering, like, it is more important to me, like, it is more personal because you know how the animals act and you know why you don't want to eat them, whereas it doesn't give you as much of a motivation if you just go like, okay, hmm. let's do it, so I think that really helps me stay on, stay on track. What, what have you learned about animals since being here that a lot of people might not know about? Goats are so fun, <laughs> so fun. And they're, they're like little dogs. The only reason why I don't have a goat as a pet is because they're really bad at house training mm -hmm. and they would poop everywhere. But I would love to have one. It's so fun. Yeah. So fun. So goats are fun. Um, and you, you have a lot of goats from backyard slaughters. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's on the rise. I know in the Bay Area, backyard slaughters are on the rise. What happens when they first arrive from a slaughter? backyard? Uh, usually they keep them at our other property in Aguadulce, which is like our healing center kind of thing. Well, because we were told that when they first arrive, they're so frightened of humans and they really need just to kind of, they need to treat them with a lot of care and not give them too much attention because it's just too hard. Yeah. But eventually they come around. At first they they don't come here on Sundays, so they're not with volunteers until they're kind of good with people. And they can be on the other property, and they have a lot of volunteers coming during the week and try to socialize with them, but not push them too far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, that's the other thing I like about their motto, hi, <laughs> is that they're the ones that are in charge. It's not the humans, right? They don't push them. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that is the sheep that was heavily abused. Um, I was just looking for her name. Sammy Stanley. Stanley, right, him. That's it. That's a boy, right? Yeah. And so Stanley was rescued from an agriculture Agricultural program, school. right, and a, and a school. Okay, so, yeah, this was Stanley whose horns were burned off? Yeah. Is that right? Uh, yeah. She just got sheared last week, so so it's up now. How long did it take for Stanley to come around? Because she was, or he, was heavily abused. When I came here, he was already. Okay. He's three years old. Two years ago, so. Aww. Uh, wow. If Sean is around here, she's the volunteer manager. Oh, yeah. She's not wearing a vest right now. Okay. She knows a lot about all the animals. Yeah, I will actually go ask her some questions. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So I'm here at the Gentle Barn in Santa Clarita, California, Southern California, where they have 170 animals. And uh, these animals are just too sick to be adopted. Or when they found them, they were too sick to be adopted. And these are animals that no one else wants. So that's what makes this place really so special. Because all of these animals would be basically on people's plates uh, if it weren't for this place. So check out uh, The Gentle Barn. I'll put a link under this video and their Facebook page I absolutely love because they always put photos of the animals up and talk about their stories. And as Ellie, the founder said, if you want to respect animals like this, eating a plant-based diet is the only solution to save these animals and to ensure that they don't end up on our plates. Thanks for watching.